Like I said last time, let's close the book on the MK11 Twindale topic for good. I still see people making the assertion that the reason Netherrealm changed Sindel's character was that she looked evil and so she should be written as evil. A lot of people use this reasoning to dunk on Netherrealm for not applying the same standards to the likes of Scorpion or Baraka, or worse, to hate on Stephanie Brownback and accuse her of being involved in the decision because she's the one who brought up this reasoning back on the combat cast. Here's the full clip. There's a couple reasons that I'm really excited for it. Okay. The first is, there was always, in my opinion, a disconnect between the way she looked and played and acted in gameplay and the lore. Like, you look at MK Deception and she's monstrous looking, she has the cool gothic makeup, the scream, all those the weird powers. She's clearly an evil character. Right. But in the lore, she's this loving mother who's super benevolent and is like this just wonderful person. Sure. It, it didn't really match. And now I think it totally does. She's never been more of like the sinister sorceress kind of witchy powers and she's all in on being evil as well. Sounds good. I must make it clear that this reasoning has never been stated to be the reason for the change. It was Stephanie Brownback's personal opinion. There was always in my opinion, in my opinion, in my opinion. On why the change works, okay? Stephanie is a PR person at Netherrealm. Not a writer, not a designer, just PR. Her job is to sell you on the product. And when that product is a horribly rewritten bastardization of an iconic character, that job is not an easy one. I mean, we all remember how the X-Men and Doom have been removed from Marvel vs. Capcom became Function vs. Function, right? I imagine she knew fans would dislike it, but if she knew the real reasoning, she may not have been allowed to discuss it. So all she could really do was explain why she thinks it works, whether that's true or not. Besides, her MK11 model doesn't even look evil because they toned down the goth makeup, axed the Bride of Frankenstein her, and gave her normal eyes. This supposed fix is just an inversion of what we had originally. And you can disagree with her assertion, can even call it stupid reasoning. Harsh, but you have the right to say that. Especially in response to her saying, This is the real lore. Which I have to imagine damaged her reputation with Sindel fans and factored into her statements being given more gravity than they really deserve. It really adds to the agency of her as a character. Wait, you started that? Though I will say, she sounded sarky as fuck when she called it the real law. But to assert that this is the studio's reasoning for the change, or worse, that she is responsible for the change despite not being involved on the creative end, makes you ill-informed at best or disingenuous at worst. Stephanie Brownback and her opinions have nothing to do with Netherrealm's decision to retcon Sindel. In fact, we don't even know that Netherrealm is responsible. For all we know, Warner Bros might have told them to insert a shocking twist into this expensive DLC story to drum up more sales. And if it did come from Netherrealm, maybe it was the writers, maybe it was Ed Boon, maybe it was one of the character designers. We don't know, and we likely never will. The closest to an explanation we've actually been given is a now-deleted tweet where Sean Kittleson may have said it was just his slash an interpretation of the character, but unless someone archived that tweet, we have nothing to go on. All we can do is say that Netherrealm changed Sindel and it's a bad change that results in a less interesting character, and that anyone making official MK content should learn from the backlash and not make such fundamental alterations to the characters, whether they have been a part of the series for 4 years or 24. If you liked this video, then why not subscribe and support me on Patreon like these fine people here? If not, then make sure to share it with your enemies so they can suffer along with you. Today's recommended playlist is The Ruination of Sindel by me because it's over. Unless you fuckers give me more reasons to come back again.